I've never seen you so much as hold a bow back in Ordon. Trust me, big-headed baby. Whatever. So there's four bugs that we can get. Whoa! <laughs> that actually scared me. Hey, here's a little funny advice from me to you. If this were a battlefield, you would be dead. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and I don't know about you, but when I complete a dungeon, I like to give my horse a couple of big old hugs. Just to say thanks for waiting for me, buddy. Maybe it's just me. Welcome to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last episode, we beat the boss Phyrus to clear the Goron Mines, earning ourselves our second Fused Shadow. Now, before we go after that third one to complete this first big arc of our story, there's a few things we can do here in Kakariko. It's actually a pretty nice place when the mountain's not in peril and there's no shadow beasts trying to eat the kids. Go figure. Much has happened here, but at last I feel joy beginning to return to this village thanks to you. Even Tallow, who was so saddened by the incident with Colin, has at last recovered his good spirits. That young boy wanted dearly to help, so he keeps watch from the observation platform now. The lookout platform is high above the bomb shop. I'm sure that if you were to go there to speak to Tallow, he would be happy. A little hint for a side quest. Now, Mallow Mart doesn't have anything new just yet. We do want to get some explosive weaponry before we leave, but there's a few things to do here. The Goron are all over the place now that tensions have eased between them and the humans. We're very grateful to you for saving our chief and our precious minds, brother. We caused a lot of trouble for the people of this town. It's our turn to repay them. Hey, brother, climb up on my back and I'll launch you up to the hotel's hot springs. I'll climb on, but I don't know if that'll make it up to the townsfolk. <laughs> climb up, brother. So now we don't have to smack him with our shield or anything to get a little bit of a boost up into the air. There we go. The roofs on the buildings here are so weird. There's like staircases all over them, but makes it pretty compact and very easy to get up to the life replenishing hot springs where a few Goron are hanging out. There's a lot of places you get your life back here. You can just stand in the spring of Elden as well. All right. You saved our chief, brother. We're thankful. Now we're able to come back down to the village again. Since this town was also attacked, I've figured the townsfolk would need supplies. So my son and I brought some things down, brother. At night, my son opens up a shop down below. You should stop by sometime, brother. Is this your... Oh, look at him. He's huge. Even though he's a baby, he's got a little volcano head. He could probably snap Link in half, but he is adorable still. Oh, a good warm soak is just what my muscles need before evening falls, brother. I sell stuff across from the bomb shop at night. I hope to see you there, brother. Go on, go on. <laughs> no, I, uh, I feel bad that whenever I do, like, a little cute monster voice, it turns into either Stitch or Gollum. So, sorry about that. Only so much rage <laughs> in my voice. We're going to take a pawn it and head over towards Bomb Shop here. Uh, this is the little stall where the Gorons will set up shop at night. They do sell lantern oil, red potions, and blue potions. First place we can get blue potions in the game, and they do completely restore your health. No magic in this one to worry about, so it's just health. But I'm not going to bother with that. We got a fairy. We don't really need a potion right now. How you doing, Barnes? Hey, now, bud. How about this now? Yep, I finally managed to get my numbers together and open up shop again. Well, sort of. I guess I've only got one type of bomb, but hey. That's one more than none, right? If only my storehouse had survived. I found some weird wolf hair around it. But hey, ain't this ain't as bad as all that. I, I had more types as we go. For now, have yourself a look-see at what I've got so far. Bombs, 30 rupees. I sell these in packs of 10. You get a slight discount that way. What's this now? You ain't got a bomb bag for carrying bombs, huh? I got a special offer going right now. My bomb bag premium kit, which comes with bag and bombs. Just 120 rupees. How about that? That's kind of expensive, but we do need these things. All right. That's right. Now you'll get to taste the true height of perfection with my finely crafted bombs. They look like they're falling apart, but that's just the art style. They're wrapped in some weird explosive casing or protective thing. Oh, and you can combine bombs and arrows to make bomb arrows for when you need ranged explosives. I'll send you a letter with the details later so you can read about it at your leisure. All right. We got this. Nice Dodongo. Uh, it looks like it might have to be part of their tail. I think it's their stomach and kind of their scales there to protect from explosions, just in case one goes off in the bag. Well, hey, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so you just drop on by anytime. All right, I'm out of here. We got little warnings about not using, yeah, flammable lanterns strictly prohibited. I will heed that warning after what happened with his shed a few episodes ago. So we've got bombs, and we can get a, uh, a full heart container just uh, pretty easily 
around Kakariko, so there's quite a few side quests. We need to head back towards the shrine, though, to do some of that. Epona, hopefully she'll listen to me. She's a little tough to control sometimes in this game. I'm looking forward to the new Zelda and the horses being a little bit smarter about moving around. And speaking of that, I hope you guys all watched E3 and uh, saw Breath of the Wild. I'm so hyped for that game. All right, so we can uh, combine the bombs and the arrows to make bomb arrows. And if we blow up the rocks up there, we get a heart piece. I, uh, I figured I'd talk a little bit about Breath of the Wild, though, not just because I've been really immersed in all the information from the last few days. And if you didn't, you know, check that out. Nintendo has a bunch of videos and streams on their channel talking about it. Uh, but yeah, so I was thinking about it because in this game, there's quite a few things that seem like they have rubbed off on the new Zelda. And uh, one of them, we got a little cave here that we can uh, check out these Kuko. And there is a, a little secret if we have our iron boots, get a little money back there. Uh, but one of the, the things is the uh, the skateboard, or not skate, uh, snow, what is it? Well, not water, <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, skateboarding or uh, surfboarding, no. Snowboarding, definitely not waterboarding. I hope that's never in a Zelda game. So the snowboarding in Twilight Princess, that comes up a little later, but in the new Zelda, they are gonna have the uh, the ability to snowboard on your shield, which is really cool. There's been some uh, some awesome gifts of uh, jumping. You can just kind of do it anytime. You like flip through the air and land on your shield and surf around. Works really good on the snow. And uh, so yeah, they haven't really revealed too many story details from Breath of the Wild, but uh, but we do know a lot about the gameplay. So there's not too many like spoilers other than you know if you really don't know what the game is going to be about at all in terms of of how you're going to play it. They've tried to keep story spoilers to a minimum, but there's a lot of uh, of mechanics and stuff to check out. And the other thing that was revealed that's really cool that links in, uh, no pun intended, with the uh, the game here is the amiibo. The Wolf, Link, and Midna amiibo is going to be even cooler in the new game. And let's jump up on this roof real quick here before we uh, talk about that. Now that we're able to go back into our minds, I was finally able to bring Barnes a new delivery of bomb ingredients, brother. Looks like you already started selling them again. You should try out Barnes brand bombs sometime, brother. <laughs> Barnes brand bombs. Yeah, say, brother, if you ever want to go into the roof of the store, I can launch you up there. What do you want to say? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Climb up, brother. So he's going to launch us up here as well. Thank you so much, brother. <laughs> and if we head up here, we can go to see Tallow for another little side quest. Uh, but yeah, so the Wolf Lincoln Midna, Midna Amiibo, I, as much as the Cave of Shadows is kind of cool, it's going to be so much better uh, to, uh, to unlock in the uh, Breath of the Wild, the new Zelda game. It's got a, uh, a new feature where if you scan that amiibo, you're gonna get Wolf Link as a companion to play with you. He will follow you around as your companion. Whatever hearts you have left over from the Cave of Shadows in this game, he'll have that life, and you can summon him in once a day to help you out. It's awesome, so definitely check that out. All right, we're gonna continue with this though before I worry, you know, I get too overhyped about the, uh, the new Zelda that we gotta wait nine months for. I heard this town was also attacked by beasts and that it had met with a terrible fate. This isn't Majora's Mask. It is shameful that we are so concerned with ourselves that we did not even help them. I'm helping the little human up above keep watch to help relations between Kakariko and our people on Death Mountain. Uh, you want to check out the view from up top? It's pretty amazing scenery, brother. Climb up on my back. Take a look. All right. So we are going to go try if he'll launch us the right way, depending on how we stand. This really reminds me of the Deku Flowers in Majora's Mask. There we go. We are uh, we are up on this really high building. This is where Talo's hanging out. He's keeping watch, making sure the town is safe. After all the times the kids have uh, had troubles with monsters, you can see that they're a little wary of uh, making sure we're safe here. Link, uh, check me out. I'm up here keeping watch for the whole town. He kind of does look like a little monkey, and he scampered up here. Yeah, <laughs> any more monsters try to attack, and I'm going to be ready. I'll shout my head off and warn everybody but I won't fight him. I'll just yell about him. Ah, gee, but if I had a bow, then I could just sit up here and shoot all those nasty monsters. Ah, oh, hey, I know, Link, you can show me how to use one. Come on, please, just show me how to shoot a bow, Link, okay? Every time I get a new piece of equipment, he wants to see it. Ah, oh, yes, okay, Mallow's down there in front of the spring, so go down and find him, then show me from there. This is a pretty quick little mini game here to earn another heart piece. You came, but can you will really use a bow? I've never seen you so much as hold a bow back in Ordon. Trust me, big-headed baby. Whatever. First off, shoot through that. All right. So we've got... Oh, wrong thing there. I got to take my 
my bombs off my arrows here. Didn't mean to do that. It looked like Mallow, <laughs> Mallow turned into a bobblehead there, just briefly. All right, so we got our first target here. Hmm, I guess that one was a bit on the easy side. Fine, how about that? I'll try that one as well. Don't want to hit him though. Oop, a little bit off. Oh, a little bit off. There we go. <laughs> hey! Oh, that was Tallow. Up here! Uh, try to hit this pole! Let's talk to Mallow real quick though. Uh, you want arrows? Well, including delivery expenses, it comes to 15 whoopies for 10 arrows. No thanks. Are you all done then? I'm no quitter. Hey, here's a little funny advice from me to you. If this were a battlefield, you would be dead. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Adventure Time with Bimo. If, uh, if this was a real attack, you would already be dead. So this is kind of tough to hit, because you got to aim really far off. You fire enough arrows eventually. I'll get it. There we go. Right on the wrappings at the top. Whoa, you hit it, you hit it. Thanks, Link. Oh, I guess you have a little bit of skill when you concentrate. Looks like you left some battles behind you. Impressive. <laughs> Looking up to me. Aw, take this. There we go. And we got another piece of heart. All right, now, after we've done that mini game, Mallow will have something new in his shop over here. Did we leave Epona behind? I want to make sure we're bringing her with us, because at this point in the game, the only way to call her is with the horse grass, and it does pop up on the map in this remake, but it's, uh, it's you know, you got to do a lot of hoofing it, not, you know, again, no pun intended. Running around, you got to do if, uh, if Epona's not near you, so keeping her close by will save you time later on. All right, so Mallow Mart has a new product here, pretty expensive. Hey, Link, buy something. It's the Hawkeye, the 100 rupee Hawkeye. This eyewear allows you to see distant objects as if with the eyes of a hawk. All right, we're gonna get it. Basically a scope for your bow. I see, I suppose I can part with it. There we go, we got the Hawkeye. This handy scope excels at zooming in on distant objects so we can combine it with the hero's bow. Not at the same time as the bombs though, unfortunately. And he just has the wooden shield and red potions. Time is money if you're done shopping and quit wasting both. So if we come here after we get all the few shadows and finish up this first arc. There's a lot of different stuff in Kakariko, including some of the Goron elders have made their way down here, and there's a whole subplot with Mallow. But for now, we are ready to move on. We got everything we need out of uh, Kakariko Village. And there's another heart piece right outside of town. The Kuko is, uh, or Kuko is, uh, has moved itself down into the thoroughfare here, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, so there's another heart piece right out here we're about to get. But there are two more. There's one up on Death Mountain and one back the opposite direction in Kakariko Gorge. I'm not going to get those two yet because each of them have this one enemy near them that we cannot really fight until later in the game. And I'm going to, you know, kill two birds with one stone and head back later when we can actually take on that enemy and do all that at the same time. Mr. Link, wait! I thought he was back in the inn burning letters or something or drying them off. He's in front of us now. Greetings, Mr. Link. Uh, I've come to deliver a letter. Uh, there is a letter for you, Link. Two letters, in fact. Da -da -da -da. All right, so one's from Barnes, because you mentioned that. Well, my business is included. Onward to bail! <laughs> Even though he's a big dork, I gotta respect him. He puts a lot of work in, running around delivering this stuff. He could use a horse. All right, so we have one from, I think this is probably... Mallow, Kakariko Goods, new sundry shop in Kakariko. If you haven't already been by to look, I have an item that isn't available anywhere else. Come by before someone snatches it. And please, no window shoppers. So we already grabbed that. Thank you for your patronage. Enjoy the power of our bombs. Not only can you place and throw our bombs, but yeah. So he's telling us a little bit about the bomb arrows that we can use. And uh, we do have bombs just as their own thing, though. If we want to have those as well, I'll get rid of my iron boots for now. So we can pick them up and throw them just like in other... Zelda games, and that should be close enough to blast these rocks. There we go. And there's a little hidden path over here. Uh, the bomb arrows, another thing that's making me think of the uh, the new Zelda because they are returning. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited for a lot of the changes and the fact that they've remade a few of these recently, like Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess, it seems like they've been looking back at the older games in the series and, uh, and trying to, you know, find stuff that maybe they would not have remembered to, you know, to try to put in the game again, like the snowboarding type of feature and stuff. And there was that, I mentioned it, I think in a Majora's Mask video not that long ago, but there was that interview back when Majora's Mask uh, came out, the remake, 
it was called meeting. It was like two me's talking, but one was the happy mask salesman. He did really hint heavily that he would be in Breath of the Wild, the new Zelda coming out, and that he's bringing new masks with him. So I'm kind of thinking we might get some mask, uh, at least mask trading, if not transformations. There we go, not too far away from our horse. I would really love to have mask transformations back. That's one of my favorite Zelda, you know, gimmicks and things. They probably wouldn't do it exactly the same, obviously, because they don't want to repeat any stuff too much, but I could see him bringing it back like a bow or a, uh, a bomb or a type of, you know, a type of thing in there and have it be almost like another staple they could include occasionally. So there's four bugs that we can get. Whoa, <laughs> that actually scared me. <laughs> ah, I don't, you don't, these aren't the types of games that usually jump scare me, but I, I did get, I don't like the looks of those guys. They're more realistic in this game and they do creep me out a little bit. I'm gonna try to grab this grasshopper here. There we go, I think I got him. Our first golden bug in this area is, hey, come back, oh no. He jumped away because I, uh, I rolled on accident. Let me just do this one more time. Oh, he's right in front of me. It's a little easier to get him to you if you hit him with a Gale Boomerang. All right, male grasshopper is our next golden bug. There are four in this area though. So we're gonna get two in this big field. This is where we fought Lord Bulbo and uh, Lord Bulblin. Lord Bulbo is the, uh, the name of his mount. And uh, yeah, and then this, this area will get Bulblin riders later on, but right now it's not too tough. It's just Kargaroks and Leavers, which I don't think we've seen yet. And somewhere over here in this field, I can see it there. I get this cargo rock off me. And there's a few levers. Man, everyone's following me over to this bug. Get out of here, you joiks. I'll jump off here and try to grab this guy before, gal, I mean, before we uh, have to worry about these enemies too much. I'm gonna try to sneak up on her and grab her. There we go, almost. Oh, don't jump away. It's the lady grasshopper, and I'm really quickly gonna get on Epona again before we deal with these levers. They're jerks, they'll kind of spin around you like uh, like vultures. You can see the crazy wall of twilight around Hyrule Castle. We'll deal with that later. But yeah, the levers are real, real jerks. They've been around since the first Zelda as well. But uh, but they're, they're never fun to deal with because they pop out of the ground out of nowhere. All right, so this is the Bridge of Elden over here where we had our big joust. And before we go too far on it, we can get another bug. Yeah, this, this area, even though I kind of consider it one bit, you know, it's one big map area. You don't have a load screen. It does have two sets of bugs. The sun is starting to set. I don't see the one. Oh, there he is. He's a little hard to notice there because he's pretty thin. This is the Phasmid male. There we go. Kind of like a little stick bug. I think that might be like the technical name for, uh, for stick bugs, but don't quote me on that. All right, so we're going to head across the Bridge of Elden. You might notice there's some grooves on the ground here, some uh, some little indentations on the middle, and that will come into play. If you've played, if you haven't played this game, but you've played Smash Brothers, you might know what that's all about. But over to the side here, we can get the female Phasmid. She's not too far over here. She's up on the cliff. Now at this point, if you're not done at Kakariko, say you want to go back and see the Goron, the baby Goron shop when it turns night or you have any unfinished business there, make sure you do it because you're not gonna be able to come back here for a little while once we go over here. There we go, we got all the bugs in the area. So there are some rocks right there. And when we blow those up, that is the, uh, that's the, the straw that breaks the camel's back, or you know, that's the point of no return where you can't go back for a little while. So make sure you're ready to move on when you do this because out of the sky, we got another one of these creepy portals and some shadow beasts are here. And I think this is the first time we fought shadow beasts as Link and not Wolf Link. And it's a little tougher to hit all three of them and knock them all out at the same time. They have taken the centerpiece. It's almost like, you know, it's like pre-prepared. We, we had this piece of the bridge ready in the oven before the show. <laughs> you know, it was ready to be taken right out of there. Okay. And we've got Shadow Beast prowling around. I'm gonna bring Epona with me so I can get back on her quickly. But uh, in order to get all three of them knocked out at the same time, here they come lumbering at me real creepy. We're gonna need to use our spin attack. And this is a little tough without any of them punching you to charge up a, uh, a spin attack and not get hit. But I'll try it. We need to do another one too. And we gotta be quick with it. There we go, worked out. They usually are pretty quick to smack you. And you gotta hit all of them with that attack, of course, if you leave one of them alive, they will screech and revive the others, just like when we've been in Twilight in the past. All right, 
So unfortunately, the bridge is still broken, but we got rid of those beasts, and there's a portal there, so you guys know what that'll probably mean later on. We got a little canyon to run through, but we're almost done for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're about to come into another Twilight segment. After we run over some Bulblins almost. There's a couple of them around here. This guy's got a uh, fire arrow to look out for. Hey, I don't know if we can actually uh, do much in there, but I think we can blow up that, that wall. Let's try that out right before we finish up. I hadn't thought about it. There we go. Took him out. Let's throw, uh, throw a little bomb or just shoot it over there. And, oh no, we can't do that. Okay, <laughs> too tough. Don't worry, forget I even mentioned it. All right, we're gonna move on here and head towards the twilight and uh, and end out the episode once we head through. But you guys know what this means. Oh no, Epona, she's so scared. She doesn't wanna go forward. We're gonna have to go on our lonesome with our creepy shadow friend. Ah, we're finally here. There's only one few shadow left. So this is the last of the twilight you'll see, I guess. Whether or not you accomplish your final task and survive is up to you. Ihi. So what will you do? I noticed the Ihi counter has gone down quite a bit since early on in the game, but I think we're somewhere around 40. I know some of you guys have been keeping track of every time Midna says that. All right, we are ready to head in and end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Want me to let you into the twilight? All right. Now, uh, as we go around, you know, I talk a lot about the game, but I'm I'm really uh, hyped for the new Zelda. So if you guys want to hear more about that and my thoughts on on Breath of the Wild, let me know. If you guys, you know, if a lot of you really don't want to hear about it, you don't really want to hear about the game mechanics because you consider that, you know, too spoilery or anything, even though there's no story or anything yet revealed, uh, then I don't have to talk about it. But I think it's a good, you know, some of it links into Twilight Princess, same timeline and everything they said, so... All right, then, I guess I'll have to help you. But what a shame that this is the last of the Twilight. I have become so fond of seeing it covering this world. Mm, or is it really the last you'll see? <laughs> so, shall we get going? Are you psychic, Midna? All right, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts, you know, about the new Zeldas, anything. The, uh, the new Zelda, I guess it's two. We got one for Wii U and NX. Uh, and, and let me know if you want to hear more about it. I'll see you guys next time, though. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. See you then for more Twilight Princess HD. Goodbye.